I'm going to run a test on one of these strings. The first thing I did was shut everything down, make sure it's all depowered, and then turned off the DC on the inverter, and then we get that to dissipate any residual capacitance as well. And then what we're going to do is pick a string. I'm going to use my tool, place it in the top, and just pull down around the back, insert, pull down, got our positive neck. We're also connected to ground over there, connect my seaward, positive neck and ground. We're not getting any voltage through because I need to flip the isolator. All right, 712 volts, 493 watts per meter squared of irradiance coming from my irradiance meter. I'm in mode three, which is going to give me uh, four or five tests. I hit auto. First thing it does, it shorts out the circuit between uh, the positive and the ground, and it measures insulation resistance in that shortened state. And under that shorted state, we should see uh, an RISO reading of at least one mega ohm. Here we have 14.7 mega ohms, so that's okay. It could be a little higher, I think, but it's an older system and it's a bit wet today. Um, short circuit current is 5.09, and the voltage VOC was 711. I won't know too much about what those results mean until I can figure out what the panels are, string lengths, etc. But it doesn't seem too bad. And generally, the IEC 62446 tells us that these strings if they're operating within the same area and they're the same length, they should be round about 5%, within 5% of each other in terms of voltage and current and output and stuff. So I'm gonna carry on testing the rest of this system.